Hi everyone, our subject today is dysuria in pediatrics. Dysuria is pain or burning occurring with the urination. It is often associated with urinary symptoms such as frequency, urgency, incontinence, and refusal to void. Dysuria is not specific for UTIs and often occur in young children. History. Do the symptom occur any special time of the day may indicate an attention mechanism if occur before school. What kinds of medication do you take? Some medication like cytotoxan may cause irritation of the urethra. A question, have there been any new foods or non-food allergen? Significance, milk and citrus fruits may cause dysuria in certain patients best to determine whether symptom regress on elimination of possible offending food. Question, do you use bubble bath? Significant bubble bath may deplete the protective lipids in the urethra. Question, any sign of bleeding? Significant may indicate trauma, infection, or congenital anomaly. Calcium excretion may cause dysuria as well as hematuria use of spermicides or douche, family history of kidney stone. Question about fever. Significant fever is a common sign of UTI. Question about frequency. Significant both frequency and dysuria are common finding in UTI. Sometimes it can be difficult to differentiate dysuria from frequency which may cause an uncomfortable feeling or pressure that is described by the child as pain with urination. Question, past history of urological uh, operation, significant anti-reflex surgery may have a side effect of uh, dysuria. Question, what uh, have you take for uh, discomfort, significant, although Cranberry juice is used for many urinary problems. The volume needed is usually more than what can be easily ingested. Question, quality and strength of the urinary stream. Significant patient with the posterior urethral valves have small, frequent voiding with low pressure, poor urinary stream, difficulty potty training or diurnal enuresis. Question about sexual activity, significant urethritis from gonorrhea or chlamydia. Vaginal discharge, vaginal discharge with dysuria suggests gonococcal or chlamydial infection. Physical examination, finding any sign of redness or ecchymosis, significant may indicate a trauma from masturbation or abuse. Finding any bleeding, significant seen in a trauma, tumor, and infection. Finding any change in behavior, significant may be an attention-seeking device. Finding abnormal swelling, significant may occur with a trauma or rare tumor. Finding abnormal urethra, significant prolapsed urethra or diverticula. Finding a gray-black structure in the vagina, significant sarcoma poteroides. Finding abdominal pain, significant intra-abdominal abscess or low-lying inflamed appendix may cause dysuria. How to approach the child with dysuria after performing history and physical examination, urine examination and culture. Result, if there is hematuria, it will be discussed in another video. Differential diagnosis may include hemorrhagic cystitis, renal calculi, hypercalciuria, trauma, including abuse and tumor. If there is uh, poly, uh, pyuria, uh, bacteriuria, white PC more than 10 per uh, millimeter cubic or uh, more than 5 uh, per high power field, with nitrate with the positive urine culture. This is UTI. Consider ultrasound if systemic sign including fever are present. Differential diagnosis, cystitis and pyelonephritis. If the urine negative, negative urine culture, uh, vaginal or penile discharge, 
if there is no discharge, this is sterile pyuria, differential diagnosis, viral cystitis, urethritis, renal abscess, Steven Johnson syndrome, and Reiter syndrome. If there is a discharge, this is STD, sexual transmitted disease or infection, uh, need the test, differential diagnosis, vaginitis, urethritis, cervicitis, and pelvic inflammatory disease. If it is a proteinuria, it will be discussed in another uh, video. If it is a normal result, in female, perform vaginal examination. If it is uh, abnormal, differential diagnosis, labial adhesion, urethral prolapse, lichen sclerosis, vaginal ulcer, herpes simplex, sexual abuse, trauma, non-abuse. If it is normal vaginal examination in female, Adolescent with sexual activity, if it is yes, this is STD, vaginitis, as, was, uh, as we mentioned, uh, cervicitis or um, pelvic inflammatory disease, urethritis. If it is not sexually active, non-specific urethritis or maybe pin one. In male, uh, with the, in male with a normal urine uh, examination, Perform penile examination. If it is abnormal, differential diagnosis, metal stenosis, balanitis, phimosis, paraphimosis, penile ulcer from herpes simplex. If it is a normal penile examination, either mechanical trauma, uh, differential diagnosis, foreign body, water injection, or masturbation. If it is uh, normal but with the abnormal voiding uh, pattern, uh, patient need voiding cystourethrogram, differential diagnosis, posterior urethral valve, or urethral stricture. Issue for referral, evidence of congenital anomaly, increasing severity of symptom, failure to respond to symptomatic or specific treatment. Top tips. In children with dysuria, history and examination will determine whether any test is necessary. Nappy dermatitis is the most common cause of dysuria in infancy. This is expressed as crying or discomfort during urination. Meatal stenosis, abnormal narrowing of the urethral opening, meatus, may be congenital or acquired, example after circumcision. The condition is characterized by upward deflected urine dysuria, urgency, and frequency, and prolonged urination. Vulvar lichen sclerosis is a chronic dermato uh, dermatosis of uh, unknown etiology, most likely autoimmune, characterized by white patches or plagues affecting the vulva and anus, and causing irritation, dysuria, and urinary infection. In males, it is known as balanitis zerotica obliterans. Urine dipstick test is very helpful in suggesting or excluding UTI. The presence of positive nitrate with white PC is suggestive, but when both are negative, UTI is very unlikely. In patient with normal examination and negative culture, dysuria often associated with the microscopic hematuria can be caused by hypercalciuria. A 24-hour urine collection is indicated. Red flag. A child with metal stenosis, congenital or acquired, requires urgent attention to avoid potential chronic incomplete bladder empty with subsequent UTI and kidney damage. A child with the vulvovaginitis should undergo a careful history to exclude sexual abuse. Remember that a foreign body such as piece of toilet paper can be trapped in the vagina and cause discharge and dysuria. Careful area inspection is essential. Be aware that pruritus can be expressed as dysuria, pinworms, which normally infest the perianal area, may occasionally spread to the vagina. In a female patient with dysuria and abdominal pain, 
pelvic inflammatory disease must be ruled out. Asymptomatic infection with either Neisseria gonorrhea or Chlamydia trachomatis may lead to development of PID, which has serious consequence if left untreated. A urethral or vaginal discharge in an adolescent is likely caused by an infection with either Neisseria gonorrhea or Chlamydia trachomatis. Painful micturition is a serious problem for it may cause urine retention with subsequent dilatation of the urinary tract system. When herpes simplex causes urethritis, a vesicle may be tiny and inapparent. A through examination can clinch the diagnosis. Be aware that in older children, self-exploratory sexual play and masturbation can cause balanitis or vulvovaginitis even if the history is negative. Thank you for your listening.